uh, kind of like left swipe energy, I would say, um, if I were describing them. Yeah. If I were to see Alpha on an app, I'd be like, not not for me. I don't know. You know, I'm going to be honest, though. I miss Black Amar from Brawl. You, do you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh it was a cool god. skin. I liked it. Oh my god. It looked good. Yeah, that one. Cool. It had a great color scheme. Okay, Efto could be a big factor for getting the Pikmin off you, too. Oh, an immediate jab lock. Not going to find the up smash that uh, Buzz needed for the rest of that string, but definitely going to put Mr. B on notice right off the bat. All right. Yeah, okay, good start here. Yeah, this can't, this matchup can be a bit tough. I mean, you got to keep in mind that, like, Alomar, Alf, whatever, they have some crazy burst options here, too, especially at the lower percentages. Like, if he has a yellow Pikmin, mm -hmm. if you land on a shield, that's a double up smash and a couple up airs coming at you. It's a lot of damage. It hurts. All right, so right now it looks like DeBuzz is getting the position he wants. He has two purples. That is huge for Lucina. That means she can't, like, come in in a short hop and, uh, you know, scare him with those forward airs for free. Uh, his get off me tools get a lot scarier. Like, a purple up smash out of shield is devastating. So this is where things get rough for Mr. B. That B reverse uh, shield breaker was a little intimidating. I got hit by that. It's a good idea, honestly, because Olimar does like to throw that shield up and try to, like, get punishes for it. So oh, yeah. It's a good plan. Yeah, definitely a very solid plan so far. And there goes that first stock play. I got to hit the Mr. B, man. I'm not super familiar with the player, but he's actually playing pretty well. 97% here. All right, finally takes a little bit of damage, but that's due to a Pikmin. And oh, Ooh. if he went for the up air, I think he might have had that. Yeah, he nearly got that stock. He's playing this extremely well so far. He's definitely making good decisions. He's, like, respecting the right options. Like, it doesn't look like he's, like, straight up overwhelmed or surprised. He's just not able to clutch out this first stock yet. All right, a little bit of spaghetti there for the past 10 seconds, but we finally get a strong hit here. Mr. B gets a little bit of extra damage, and I like that. Actually, having the Pikmin actually, uh, not stalled, but it extended that hurt, hurt box mm -hmm. on the back air. So if for some reason the Buzz didn't land into it, like there was more time to try and get that hit. Yeah, that was a really smart recovery. If Lucina had anything like straight up cheesy, I would definitely argue to say that it is her drop zone back air. That move has crazy range. It's really safe. It's got so much knockback, and it's Olimar, wrong. as light as he is, is a uh, Definitely um, in a lot of danger from it. Yep. Well, let's see how this plays out now. Oh, there goes the white Pikmin. All right, one purple, one red. Not a terrible layout for him to deal with. The Buzz making great advantage of that whistle, trying to stop the bleeding on these combos. But Mr. B fighting back and evening up his damage really quickly. Yep. Yeah, Mr. B's actually hanging in there really, really well, too. Again, like. I, the Buzz is the clear favorite, I think, to win this tournament. Mm -hmm. And just the fact that, like, you're Ooh. hanging with one of the best players in the world like this, I mean, that's definitely got to be a bit of a feel-good. Oh, for sure. Mr. B, when you come back and watch these bots, just know you have my praises. You have my respect. You're doing yeah. fantastic. But, man, yeah, uh, this is the double purple. This is the Myron zone, as some people like to call yep. it. The Myron zone. Your girl calls me Myron. Your girl calls me Myron. Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. Forward throw. Okay, putting some uh, off stage. But he still has a lot. Like, both these purples only lost the red, man. That's just some great uh, resource management from the buzz. But even stocks, even game. And phenomenal positioning for Mr. B2. He recognized with all three Pikmin, especially a purple, uh, the buzz had to start sacrificing them to like get his recovery to be what he wanted. Yep. So he played around it really well. But unfortunately, getting tagged by these up smashes, getting anti-air just to death here, 88% seemingly out of nowhere. Yep. This was so close just a couple moments ago. I mean, it makes sense, though. You expect a lot of hit, uh, players, when you're in that position so far above, you expect them to jump up and beat you with an up air, mm -hmm. especially with Alomar. He's got a great up air, right? But. <laughs> You know, he just kind of sat there on the ground, got a couple up smashes, built up that damage, and we, we know what Blue Pikmin does. Yeah. We know what he does. He grabs you, you go up, you die. As simple as that. Exactly. Now, we did have a... We we saw, like, some pretty solid stuff coming out with, like, those falling down airs. It was really good against the Pikmin, but this time, once he went for it, it looked like the buzz adapted almost immediately and just got so much free real estate mm -hmm. uh, with those up smashes out of shield. But either way, I definitely think Mr. B played it well. It's just going to be like, all right, you have an understanding of the matchup, and your neutral is good, but the buzz adapts really, really, really fast. Yes. So now, can you start adapting the same speed that he is? Yeah, no, he, he's, there's a reason why they call him Galaxy Brain. He has a very good understanding of the game. Actually, most games he plays, mm -hmm. he's very, very good at and knows very well. Like PlayStation All-Stars Brawl, one of the best he was yeah. one of the best players of that. He, he's literally the best player of all time at Kendrick's Uprising. Is he really? <laughs> yeah, like, I did not know he, this. He won like one of the few tournaments and he like dominated it too. Nice, nice. Yeah. Also, Honestly, even as myself, uh, I've been casting Smash for, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years, however long. His TikTok has some really good nuggets of wisdom on it. Oh, I yeah. still learn uh, things here and there from, like, how he breaks the game down from his TikTok. So yep. check out the Buzz's TikTok, too. Yeah, no, because I remember uh, one of the few times he uh, he hopped on the mic at Summit, and he's just dropping knowledge yeah. on these guys. And some of the casters are like, wait, really? He's like, oh, yeah. And then he goes, this, this, this. And they're like, what the heck? 
<laughs> yeah, like there's a lot of top players that are like, how did I do this? And they just kind of like, I don't know, I'm just good. But like the Buzz is a very research player. Actually, kind of like the, to add on to it too. Uh, we know that Last is like the, the Team Liquid Smash coach at the mm -hmm. moment, right? Uh, from uh, from my talks with Last, uh, when it comes to the Buzz, it's not so much coaching. It's actually a lot of theory crafting. Ah, so it's the two okay. of them bouncing ideas off each other, and I think that's actually helped elevate the Buzz's game a little bit more when he has some of the kind of bounce ideas off. Mm -hmm. It's someone who's able to kind of like replicate the same kind of feel of the game right back at him, and it's really really developed into something great here. All right, this is still really close. This is still perfectly even. Uh, Mr. B uh, versus the Buzz is just still one hit away from getting the first official lead here. Mr. I love that Mr. B puts out great pressure off stage, finds that falling back here, and actually takes the first stock over to Buzz, but he is at 134, and I do see a purple lurking yeah. right where uh, the Buzz needs it. That was a blue grab, too, so that absolutely would have been a stock here. The down smash will do it. Red Pikmin pretty strong. And you know what? That's the one thing I got to hand to him, too. Even after the first game, taking the Buzz to the last stock, like yeah. that, you're good at the game. Yeah, like, exactly. Easy peasy. And if you can get him down the last stock, Ooh. you can certainly take a game here. Yeah, and he's starting to like, he's trying to tell the bells like, yo, you can't just pressure me for free because she does have that counter. See him finding a footstool. We see an attempt with a down air. Mr. B putting out an incredible amount of pressure. The buzz actually looking a little bit shocked right now. <laughs> Oh, that could have been huge. Yeah, that was actually very dangerous. I'm surprised the stock wasn't taken. But you know what? It might be a little bit of that holy, you know, holy cow, I'm really doing this right now. I'm taking it to the buzz. I'm making them feel the pressure. And you just get a little bit of that miss, uh, miss execution. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's, and, that, and that's the uh, the kind of bonus of already being a top player, is it like the fear of, oh, I really want this so bad. Like players, even when they start getting the lead, they will just just naturally start playing differently. I do oh, it, yeah. we all do it, it's natural. When I'm playing against a really good player, I, I play better, because I feel like I'm more focused, because I want to I wanna try and take something from them. Right, right. right. And so the, yeah, there always is that effect. Now there's not, it doesn't work for everybody, <laughs> but, that, but it does work for some people, and it might be for Mr. B. He knows he's playing against one of the best players in the world here, right, top 10, top 20. Uh, he, he's like, all right, I can do this, but right now, you're now on the losing position here. You need to find a way to turn this around real quick. Yeah, but it, honestly, at this point, no matter how this set goes out, Mr. B, you can definitely look back and say you played amazing. Mr. Uh, B. Because it's very, very uh, solid. We've seen a gameplay we're seeing. All right. Oh, unfortunate position. That Pikmin being on her leg. Lucina just doesn't have like a good way to get it off. I think it maybe it's on like her opposite shoulder. It yeah. was on her for a while. She I just think didn't I, have a good move. I think a down air would have gotten rid of it. Mm -hmm. But and the thing is, it kind of sat there and took a lot of damage too. He took like 48 percent by letting that yellow Pikmin sit on him. And again, with the with the white Pikmin on him too, that does a lot of tick damage. As you can see, already at 102 here. And you were doing so well, but now the buzz, you let those Pikmin stay on. That, all this damage here is basically letting yep. Pikmin sit on you. Yeah, they feel so innocuous, but like you saw Mr. B would react and try to do a move to get him off, but like wasn't sure what move to do. Yeah. And in that panic, the buzz just like, oh cool, I'm gonna take this free damage. I'm gonna recollect. I'm gonna hold down center stage and let you kind of panic. But you can see them talking. I, I can't hear what the buzz is saying, but I'm sure he's picking him up being like, yo dude, you're pretty good. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. You played really well, well. I mean, like the buzz is one of those people that when you play against them, you kind of want to ask for, some advice, right?